More than 3,000 studies have been undertaken on emotional intelligence. And they have all shown that emotional intelligence is a major contributor to both success and happiness in your work life and in your personal life. In fact, it's responsible for about 85% of that success. So much so that the Carnegie Institute of Technology have identified that it's worth more than 85% of the financial success in your life. Shockingly though, as you can see, only 15% is due to your technical ability. Now developing emotional intelligence will yield all kinds of great results. Not only for you, but for the teams you lead, for the organizations you serve, and for the family that you love. Boosting your emotional quotient, or EQ, is tied to more effective leadership, entrepreneurship, career success, as well as happiness and relationship satisfaction. Now, who wouldn't want more of that, right? Conversely, not practicing this skill will keep your career achievements low, your relationships volatile, and your life less fulfilling. The good news is, the good news is that unlike IQ, you can benchmark it, you can develop it, and you can raise your EQ. I'm Sean Foley, the EQ guy from EQ to Lead, and I'm pleased to welcome you all today to this short presentation on leadership with emotional intelligence. Today you'll discover what EQ is, the benefits of a high EQ life, how to identify it in others, and more importantly, what you can do to, to develop and improve your own. So why should you care? Well, we all know someone like this. They don't get a great deal done. They don't influence many people. But we have seen the opposite. We've seen people who just have it. You've worked with them, you've socialized with them. You've had such a great interaction with them that when you've left, you think, wow, that was a great conversation. You reference them to other people. Their name comes up in conversation, you think, yeah, great person. You recommend them, you recommend to your friends, your family, you trust them, and you'll ask their advice. They become the go-to person, a person of influence. They attract more business, they have better relationships, and a more fulfilling life. Now, the recognized expert in this field, Daniel Goleman, he wrote the best-selling book, Emotional Intelligence, Why It Can Matter More Than IQ. Now, he's dedicated his life work to finding out what makes people successful. He says it comes down to emotional intelligence. It's what drives a person to excel. It's twice as important as your IQ and any technical ability you may have. Professor Goldman goes on to state, and I'll read this to be clear. If your emotional abilities are not in hand, if you don't have self-awareness, if you're not able to manage your distressing emotions, if you can't have empathy and have effective relationships, then no matter how smart you are, you're not going to get very far in life, love, or career. It's so important that the World Economic Forum in 2014 identified, as they do regularly, the top 10 key attributes that they believe great leaders around the world must have. On the right here, you'll see 2015. On the left, you'll see 2020. I want to draw your attention to just a couple of points. Number two, coordinating with others. People management, critical thinking. Active listening, and of course, creativity. Now, these are all key attributes within the mix of emotional intelligence. When you are emotionally intelligent or have a high EQ, 
you feel so much more in control, you're able to bring all of these aspects to bear more strongly. You're a greater influencer. Now, interesting, looking over at 2020, where they believe in the future of what attributes they'll be looking for, yes, complex problem solving stays at the top. But I'll draw your attention to three, four, five, and six. Emotional intelligence wasn't even in the top 10 last year. By 2020, I reckon it's going to be number six. And I personally believe it'll be higher rated than that.